What's up guys, War here. Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're bringing you another Barbarian build, but we are bringing the Long Behold, the Raycor's Boulder Toss build for the Barbarian in season 27. Now this was a big hit. I mean, kind of a new build that came in season 26 last season, and it was pretty good. But it's pretty much the same power level, but we added a new power to it, which is going to be the activating Wrath of the Berserker concern, consumes the 50 stacks of Tempest, Rhythm, and Startles enemies where they take more damage up to a stack of, or up to 50 stacks for 20 seconds, which is really cool. There's not really a power in the Barbarian in uh, Season 27 for the Angelic Crucibles that really works for the build. So this is the one we're going to go with. It's the best option for the build. Raycors is pretty good. We kind of built this one for speed, guys. But as usual, we're going to go over this. The build is really, really fun. It's just a little clunky on how to play because you really, really need to group up a lot of enemies. So let's just get in and do a GR90, showcase the build, and go over everything as usual. So the way the build works, guys, is that we are going to be rocking Furious Charge doing everything. We're going to keep uh, Battle Rage up once every... 120 seconds we're going to keep war cry call of the ancients and wrath of berserker up non-stop okay and as we do this we're going to be throwing boulders consuming all of our fury and dealing massive amounts of damage so let's do this okay not the best uh not the best map to start with now your your boulder toss is going to do more damage the uh, more fury that you spend, because you see it takes everything. Okay, so every time that we we throw a boulder toss, we wanna we wanna be furiously charging to keep that uh, that pool full, so that way we do the most damage to kill absolutely everything. Now I want to say that even in spills in speed in spills in speeds, guys, we really want to be elite hunting. Okay, we really want to be elite hunting. The build is really good. But you can see how we kind of just got, like, we got to zoom across the map. We need to be grouping monsters up. What a perfect way to go in to the next floor. Now, one thing that's cool about this is you can't launch the boulders far away because you see how they spread. So you don't actually have to target exactly what's in front of you after you furiously charge, which is pretty cool. But if you want to, it definitely helps. So that's pretty much the build, guys. You're going to want to keep everything up. And then you're just going to ferociously charge around, hit stuff. Every single time that your your uh, your fury is full, chuck your boulders. And the build is really cool. Comparatively to other builds like Hoda or even uh, uh, just the standard Whirlwind Barb, which we had a video for, it just doesn't even compare. The, this build is cool, but you'd rather play the other two builds. The other two are just way better than this one, considering the powers that you can put on them. So, but this build is really cool. I really like that Raycourse has something that is actually strong. There's another rune that you can use for this, which would be really cool. It doesn't deal as much damage, but it is really fun, and it would work for the build, which is pretty cool, I think. But as far as groups, what you want to do, you just want to group these guys up, man. That's it. You see how it spreads and does a crap ton of damage? Oh, we got a returning floor. Let's go. Huge. And you see, we want to keep everything up. We want to keep all of our cooldowns up at all times. Where you at? Rift Guardian can be a little problem to deal with, but not too bad, guys. You can see the build is actually really fun, really flavorful. Let's get back into town. I'm going to break down all the gear. All right, guys. We're back in town. Let's see how fast we finish that. 2 minutes, 22 seconds on a GR90 is not too bad for Raycors. Again, I'm probably not the best at this in using Raycors. The build is kind of clunky in a sense to me anyway, comparatively to other builds, but we finished it in two minutes, 20 seconds, which is kind of what you're aiming for between two and three minutes. So let's look at the build and everything that you guys are going to need. Okay. So we are rocking all or the full Raycor set. We're rocking five out of the six compared with uh, Captain Crimson's to just make up the difference here. But all right, guys, let's get right into the gear and everything that you're going to need for the breakdown. We are rocking five of the six pieces for the Raycors Legacy of Raycors set. Everything is going to be done through um, Boulder Toss, but everything starts out with Furious Charge. Furious Charge gets every rune, and you do increase damage for Ancient Spear for each percent of life 
missing, which is great. And then when you hit enemies with Furious Charge or Weapon Throw, you increase the damage of your next spear by 5,500%, which is awesome, up to five stacks. We combine this with the Captain Crimson's set because we want maximum cooldown and resource cost reduction because we want to be able to constantly have all of our skills on permanent uptime and regenerate our fury so that way we can boulder toss non-stop. Okay, we went with the Skullers Salvo, was it Salvation? Salva? Man, I can't use words today. Uh, but the bracers here, we're going to do in these for increased damage for Ancient Spear. And then if your Ancient Spear Boulder Toss hits five or fewer enemies, you have increased damage, which is great. So against Rift Guardians, against just a small pack of Elites, very, very strong. Okay, we got Squirt's Necklace uh, for double damage. And then Convention of Elements for more elemental damage with Band of Might for damage reduction because we're nonstop Furious Charging everywhere. Okay, then we have the Atreet's Law, which gives us Weapon Throw and Ancient Spear deal increased damage. And then Weapon Throw generates 50 additional Fury based on the distance of the enemy that you hit. And you can go above the maximum cap of 200. Ancient Spear also refunds 50 Fury based on the distance of enemy hit. So this is great. We can go above our max and then we get uh, Fury back the farther we hit people, which is awesome. And then the 300 spear uh, increase the damage of weapon throw by 200%, which is great. And the attack speed of weapon uh, throw and ancient spear by 200%. Fantastic. Okay, so that is the gear, guys. The gems that we're rocking is Molten Whizzle, Whizzle Beast, Whizzle Beast Gizzard for just more shield to help complement Squirt's Necklace. We got Zayas for more damage at longer distances, of course, and the Bane of the Trap for more damage. In the cube, guys, we're going with Messer Schmidt's Reaver to help with our permanent uptime on our abilities, mainly for uh, Call of the Ancients, Wrath of the Berserker, and Warcry. We got Fury of the Ancients for Call of the Ancients gains the effect of Ancient Fury, and your Ancients attack 100% faster, which is insane. And then Royal Ring and Grand Door to complement the two sets. Into our skills, guys, we got Battle Rage Bloodshed, which is awesome. I've really tinkered around with swapping this out to just more movement speed or something else, just changing up the rune. Uh, we have Ancient Spear Boulder Toss, which is really cool. Uh, Furious Charge, doesn't matter what rune you pick, you get all of them. We have Call of the Ancients together as one to help uh, with some damage reduction because we get the uh, Ancient Fury rune on top of that, so we got two for that. Warcry Charge, this is huge. This helps keep our Fury full constantly. The reset on this should be rather, relatively quick, so that way we can keep our Fury at full to constantly throw boulders. And then Wrath of the Berserker, Insanity, for just more damage and more uh, damage reduction, move speed, all that good stuff. Into our passives, we got No Escape. Increase the damage of Ancient Spear by 30% if enemies are 15 yards away. Animosity maximize our uh, fury boon of Bolkathos to help with our cooldowns for call of the ancients and wrath of the berserker and a rampage of course for more damage those are the skills and passives guys let's get right into the stat priorities you want strength crit chance uh ancient spear damage in the helm you want strength uh crit 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 cooldown uh, in the gloves you want strength crit crit uh cooldown in the chest, you want strength, vitality, all resist. Uh, squirts, you want damage, crit, crit, or dam or crit, crit, cooldown. Bracers, you want physical skills, strength, vit, crit chance. Uh, in the rings, both of these are going to be the same. You're going to want damage, crit, crit. For the belt, you're going to want strength, vitality, life percentage, all resist. Pants, you want strength, vitality, all resist. In the boots, you want strength, vitality, all resist, ancient spear damage. In 300 spear which we put the power on damage strength area damage cooldown and then a treats law same thing you're going to want damage strength area damage and cooldown instead of percent damage those are the percentages guys so let's get into a couple things that i would like to do and i've tested out that can be a little bit different so you could swap out bloodshed for ferocity for more movement speed or if you really wanted to and you feel like you're a little squishy you could do uh, Swords of Plowshare, which gives you uh, critical hits, give you life. Or you could just flat out for more damage, increase Marauder's Rage, which is great. You could Threatening Shroud, uh, Grim Harvest, just to get some health globes to kind of help or even demoralize stuff. That would work really well. 
Um, you could also swap out Warcry if you wanted to off charge for Veteran's Warning if you need more dodge. But I like this because we want to keep our Fury high. You could do Veteran's Warning. That would be really, really good. Other than that, not much else of the build is going to change. Uh, the only other thing that you could do here if you didn't like Boulder Toss is to do Jagged Edge, which will throw one Harpoon. When it hits an enemy, it shatters into a bunch, which is kind of cool. Uh, Jagged Edge is really good. But that is the build, guys. That's what you're swapping out. You could do um, some of these because you're so close. You could swap out No Escape for Ruthless, or you could swap out for uh, like even Relentless if you really wanted to. But I think overall, the build is pretty solid so that's going to do it for raycores guys i know the build is you know still new from season 26 and it's not a very popular one uh even comparison to hoda and whirlwind this season but this build is really really cool so i wanted to bring it to you just as something else you could play if you are maining barbarian this season so if you guys did enjoy today's video make sure to drop a like if you guys are new here be sure to subscribe i really do appreciate all the support we have just been absolutely blasting season 27 bringing you all these build guides and just other cool things that we've been doing um, with the challenges and your seasonal journey for season 27. So appreciate all the support guys. As always, stay gaming. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.